What's up, HRV? I'm Bryson Pozo. And I'm Mitchell Lamer. Welcome to What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on around HRV. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and people around America are coming together to stop sexual assault. Next week at HRV and around the community, there are many events planned. One student involved in the planning of the week is Lillian Ontiveros. We asked her to tell us about it. Okay, so I'm here to talk about Sexual Assault Awareness Week, which is going to be happening from April 23rd to the 27th. Um, we're going to kick off the week with an introduction in the weekly What's Up video with the talent on the Friday before, so the 21st. And then throughout the week, we're going to have some sort of event or discussion every day that you can do to get involved with sexual assault awareness. So on Monday, it's going to be just an introduction to the, what the problem of sexual assault is, an introduction to how you can be aware and how you can help. On Tuesday, it's going to be bystander training, so that's going to help you learn what you can do as a bystander or a witness to sexual assault um, outside of being a victim or an actual assaulter. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about the definition of consent, so you'll watch a video in your class, and then you'll talk about it with your class, and then there will be some activities during lunchtime. Uh, Thursday is going to be questions and discussion. So another thing that you'll learn about in your class, talk about it with your classmates, and then bring that discussion to the school as a whole. And then Friday, we're going to do a pledge, a call to action, to say what you personally are going to do to try to stop the problem of sexual assault in our community. So this is a really important week and a really important event. And the most important thing is that you get involved in your class and that you bring the information that you learn and the discussions that you have. You have them with your friends, your family, your coworkers, anyone that you think could benefit from that information. Because the important part of this week is that we're spreading awareness so that we learn how to deal with sexual assault in our community. For the last few weeks, we've been presenting a series called Let's Talk. The series is intended to get students talking about the issue of sexual harassment. Here's the final installment. One of my teachers is widely known around school to make unwanted comments towards students. Lately, this teacher has been commenting on my outfits and telling me that I look good. I've been noticing them staring at me. The thing is, I know that a lot of my friends had had similar experiences and they laugh it off. I try to laugh it off too. I don't want to say anything because no one else has and I don't want to overreact. I have a majority of my classes with this kid who often sits at my table and makes me uncomfortable. In addition to making rude comments toward our teacher, he says things that make me uneasy, like asking me about my personal life. He asks if I have a boyfriend, and when I say I do, he tells me that he could treat me better. Normally, I just try to ignore him, but lately he has gotten more persistent. I don't want to move seats because I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but he's getting much worse. Probably the most important thing to recognize as far as where the line is drawn is that the speaker doesn't get to draw the line. The line is drawn by the listener, by the person the comment is directed to. And so um, that line gets to be whatever makes the listener uncomfortable. The speaker's intention doesn't matter. It is the audience that gets to draw the line wherever they are comfortable. I think the most important thing is to protect each other, right? Pull them aside, um, give them somewhere to go, give them some reason to leave the situation because I think generally we have a sense, man, my friend is not comfortable right now. As far as policing um, and asking students to correct any sort of behavior, uh, that always makes me nervous. If you feel comfortable correcting someone, um, especially if you feel like there's, it's an innocent mistake, then maybe, um, then maybe saying, hey, that's, that's not okay is, is good. Um, but I think our priority as, as peers should be, hey, let's, let's protect our friends and, and help them avoid the situation. We oftentimes blame the victim. Um, and I think that that's what makes it so difficult is I don't, I don't want to be known as the, you know, as the 
the sensitive one or the snowflake or whatever like terrible thing that we can say about someone who feels uncomfortable. Um, but I think that that's the real barrier is that we, we don't want to be seen as a victim even when we're being victimized. The quickest, easiest resource is a teacher or a staff member that you know um, is sensitive to these kinds of issues. I think you can start with someone who works here at the high school and they can help you figure out what the next step is to both protect yourself and your friends um, and to cor correct whatever behavior needs to be corrected. So, I mean, for me, I start with like staff. We're, we're supposed to be trained, we're supposed to be sensitive, and we're supposed to kind of know what to do next. The question of the week team usually roams around the halls looking for students to question, but this week they aimed a little younger. They headed to the Little Eagle Preschool to talk to the kids there. <laughs> what do you love? Do you love me? Hello. What do you love? La Mama. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs? No. <laughs> uh, I love dragons. Dragons. <laughs> I love dragons. Caleb, I love you. I love Play-Doh. Mom, me. Mommy, what else do you love? <laughs> That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. We did want to update you on the HRB teams that are competing at the Robotics World Championships. As of Thursday, Team Steelhead is ranked 14th and Team AOS 5 is ranked 5th. We'll leave you with the It's On Us video produced for last year's Sexual Assault Awareness Week, created by Grace Whitmore. There's a calendar attached at the end of the video, so you won't miss any events. Come back next week, and we'll tell you what's, what's up. up. Okay, we're done. No more cars. No more cars. At Hood River Valley High School, somos una comunidad. A community of respect for ourselves and each other. A community of students that will take a stand. Una comunidad de estudiantes que van a luchar contra el asalto sexual. Now it's time to take a stand. It's on us. It is a visit at nas. To be more than bystanders. Para ser más que observadores. To know that sex without consent is rape. And to understand that consent is never assumed. It's on us. And ha, Elaine ha. All of us. To know that she wasn't asking for it. To know that he's not weak because he was assaulted. And to know that sexual assault can happen to anyone. Of any gender, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. De cualquier género, grupo étnico, orientación sexual. At Hood River Valley High School. We are more than bystanders. Somos más que observadores. We know that one out of three teens experience dating violence and we'll step in if we see a friend in a dangerous situation. To distract, divert, and disrupt the situation, it's on us. To do something. To stand up for friends, for classmates, for ourselves. Because together, we can make a difference. And create the community and relationships we want. At Hood River Valley High School. Yeah, I'm but hey. Itu para kami. It's on us. All of us.